So we're going to be using my favorite MW2 SMG today in the ISO 9mm. I know a lot of people are thinking, you're out of your damn mind. There's no way this is your favorite, and let me explain why. This thing performs a lot like the WSP Swarm, the Rival 9. It's an extremely fast-firing weapon with a decent recoil pattern that's very good for aggressive players. And guess what? That's exactly how I play, and that's exactly why it's my favorite. I made a build on this very early in the game's life cycle that performed pretty well but now we have new attachments in the game that i personally think makes it even better for my first attachment i do like the slate reflector i'm not a fan of those iron sights i wasn't a fan of it back in modern warfare 2 and i'm definitely not a fan of it now the slate reflector is just my personal preference when it comes to optics for the rear grip you're going to need the a30 stout self-explanatory here seven percent across the board to recoil you are going to need attachments like this one in order to make it easier to hit your shots pretty self-explanatory at the end of the day for the magazine i do like the 50 round drum the 33 is okay you can use it if you want to it depends on your play style and i guess the map you're playing but i typically am playing so aggressive i do need all the bullets i possibly can have 50 round drum just fits my play style perfectly for the under barrel i'm going with the sl skeletal vertical grip because not only are we gaining handling but also recoil control so the perfect attachment for this weapon we're getting gun kick vertical recoil control ads speed and sprint to fire speed kind of touching on everything you needed to cover when it came to the ISO 9mm. And now we have an attachment that wasn't available the first time I made an ISO 9mm build with the Quartermaster Suppressor. This makes a world of difference. It makes it so easy to control your recoil. You're going to be gaining a massive 11% to gun kick, 23% to horizontal recoil control, and 10% to vertical recoil control. When I made it originally, the recoil was a bit spotty. It was still a very good close range weapon, but now it makes it even viable in the medium range because your shots are very easy to be hit now that you have the quartermaster suppressor so here's all the attachment that you guys can pause the video to copy down if you guys want to you guys are going to see in the gameplay you also saw in the firing range the recoil is pretty easy to use so you guys should have no problems using the weapon i would highly recommend sticking to close quarters maps because that's where you're going to find the most success maps like rio maps like skid row obviously small map mosh pit i think you guys should be using on those style of maps because personally and i'm telling you this from experience that's where I had the most fun with the thing. Here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy the rest of this down, I want you guys to go down in the comment section and let me know what your favorite MW2 SMG is here in Modern Warfare 3. Because from my experience, a lot of people's favorite SMG from Modern Warfare 2 is different. So that should speak volumes to, well, actually they're kind of usable. So go down in the comment section and let me know. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into today's gameplay. Hope you enjoy. So we are going to be using one of my favorite Modern Warfare 2 SMGs today in the ISO 9mm. This thing's super, super good. Super good for aggressive players because of the fire rate and also has a pretty good ammo and movement category, like just statistics in general. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one when you end up trying it. We're off to a hot start. Oh, I'm running a mosquito drone. I forgot I was doing the event challenge. So I'm not running a UAV in this one. Let's see. Maybe I don't need it. It would be nice to have it, but maybe I don't need it. You guys are witnessing the capabilities of it, though. That's for dang sure. Now, by default, the MW2 SMGs kind of have slower mobility. All right. Yeah, maybe I don't need that UAV. It would be nice to have, but maybe I don't actually need it. Uh, I'm going to use my VTOL and drop it on the hill. Now we advance UAV. Got to pay attention here. They shouldn't spawn behind me. They're not. Got another mosquito drone. Oh, my mosquito drone actually didn't even get me a kill anyways. We're split spawn right now. Reload. 
Alright, this is about to run out. My VTOL's doing the work though, holy! I believe they're gonna be spawning back here. So I gotta be weary. So they've left the game for right now. Hoping more people are gonna spawn in pretty quickly. There's a guy right there, but I'm afraid. All right, teammate's going to clean that up. I'm going to stay over here by boxes, I think. We're not repeeking this. This guy's staring right at me. Okay, now we're in the money. If I'm gonna get this, it's gonna be right now. I think I'm gonna go for. Can I go for a flank? They're starting to push now. I'm kind of holding off. Okay, I, I didn't look to see what streak I was on. 29. I need one kill. We're not gonna rush it. And he runs right at me. Okay. Okay. Oh, you guys are still going to keep pushing me. All right. We're going to run away for a second. We're going to call in some streaks. All right. This should be a safe place to do so. Let's go with the VTOL first and foremost. Drop that here. Go with a mosquito drone. I'm definitely taking that thing off. That event challenge that was out, you needed to run and get X amount of, you know, kills with the mosquito drone or bomb drone. I think it was one of the two. Not that, uh, not that the mosquitoes gotten me more than one kill, but I got another. Changing max. Loading fresh mag. What? Thank you. All right, I'm on a 44 gun streak right now. My team, oh, I'm kind of glitching around the map at the moment. My latency's still good, so this is a packet burst thing. This is for sure a packet burst thing. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Uh, um, do I need to die or something? I'm not sure what's happening here. I don't know if this has something to do with that new on-demand texture streaming crap or if the whole lobby's lagging or something, man. I don't know what's happening here, man. I just got teabagged? Oh, hell no. No, the lobby's stuttery now. I'm, I'm on 40 latency, so it's little, it's not my ping. Like, straight up not my ping. Reloading. 
It's still all glitchy, man. I'm gonna have to look at my settings. I don't know. This feels like a latency thing more than anything else. Like a, um, how do I describe this? They added where you can't turn off on-demand texture streaming, which means it hits your internet while you're playing to load the textures in. And that's the only thing I can imagine this really is. Because it's like not lag. I don't know how to explain it. See, that guy didn't have a gun. I don't think he had a gun. Requesting recon flyover. Hard point compromised. See, that guy's going through the same thing. Reloading. Grenade. I think, yeah, I think everybody's going through it right now, actually. It's looking like this game's going to be done. Okay, it's in. Just for the lulls, we'll toss that mosquito in. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, 83 kills. I'm gonna take a look at my settings now because I'm not in with that whole laggy, jumpy, skippy vibe stuff going on there.